my name is Evelyn Matam I'm from Solomon Matango High School. I'd like you to help me with the following question. You need to check what you understand. Right. So the question says to ask the graph of f of x equals 2 over x plus 1 plus 4 and parabola g are drawn below. C. The turning point of G lies on the horizontal asymptote of F. The graph of G passes through the origin. Right, so B is a point. K is to 14 over 3. And um, on F, such that BC is parallel to the y-axis. So there is no line BC here. But if you had to put it, then that line would just simply be a line from B to C. And that line will be parallel. It will be parallel to the y-axis. And that is a very important piece of information. You might need to use this um, in, in later on questions. All right. So the first question says to us, we need to write down the domain of the graph of f. So who is the graph of f? The graph of f is the hyperbolic function. Right. And what is the equation of the hyperbola? There you have it. It's actually f of x is 2 over x plus 1. Right. Right. Let's just see that. Okay, cool. So f of x is... 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. Now, the domain speaks to you um, about the x value, so we want to talk to you about the x value. So the domain will always be x is the element of real numbers in a hyperbola because a hyperbola covers all x values. Right. You need to understand the following, guys. It's got two, two curves. The first curve goes to negative infinity. The other curve goes to positive infinity. So collectively, they cover all x values. So x is the element of real numbers. However, it doesn't get to the asymptote. So we need to say it's all x values except the asymptote. So x is the element of real numbers, but x is not equal to the asymptote, which is negative 1 in this context. Right. The next part of the question says determine the x-intercept of f. Right. What is the graph of f? Well, f of x is 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. We're looking for the x-intercept. So for x-intercept, remember, for x-intercept, um, your y values have to be 0 or f of x has to be 0. You can also put it in this form. This and that is basically the same thing. You decide which one you want to use. We understand that they actually mean one and the same thing. So for x-intercept, y equals to 0. So I'm going to put f of x is 0, which is my y. So 0 equals to 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. Right, this is the equation, and this is basically what we have with. Now, you need to understand that when we're asking for the x-intercept, if I may go back to over x plus 1 plus 4, we are looking for the value there where the hyperbola cuts the x-axis. So 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. We then simplify, take 4 to the left, which craft mathematics, it becomes negative 4, adding the additive inverse on both sides, x plus 1. And then we don't like fractions. I don't like fractions. So I'm going to put this over 1, cross-multiply. You get negative 4 into x plus 1 equals to 1 times 2, which gives you a value of 2. Right, if you simplify, you get negative 4x and you get negative 4 is equal to 2. Then negative 4x is going to be equal to 6. Divide both sides by negative 4, your x comes out as negative 3 over 2. That is the x value. But this is not the x-intercept. So the coordinate, you have to put it in point form. Therefore, the x-intercept is negative 3 over 2 is 2 is to 0. And that is a solution of what we're looking for in that question. Right. Let's go to the next part that says calculate the value of k. Right. What is this k? Well, k is a point in the graph of um, f. Remember, f of x is given to us as 2 over x plus 1 plus 4. So if you remember very well, if we may go back to the actual graph that was sketched for us, there's k right there at the top. There's k there. The coordinate um, of B is K and 14 over 3, right? B and 14 over 3. So we know that B is K and 14 over 3. If you want to find K, you need to acknowledge the fact that this is the X coordinate when this is the Y coordinate. So we're just going to simply substitute those values in the graph. My Y value is going to be 14 over 3 equals to 2 over my X is K plus 1 plus 4. Right, and then just simply take 4 to the left, we have 14 over 3, minus 4 is 2 over k plus 1, right. If you simplify that further, let's just see, you can just take your calculator and subtract there, it is just going to be um, 12 over 3, 14 minus 12 is going to be 2, so you're getting 2 over 3 equals to 2 over k plus 1, 
which will then simplify to if the numerators are the same, then the denominators also have to be the same. So k plus 1 is just simply equal to 3. If you simplify, your k value comes out as exactly 2. So that's basically the value of k. All right. Now the last part of the question, we are told that we need to write down the coordinates of c. Let's go back and try to find what c is on the sketch. We want to write down the coordinates of c. So if you may allow us to return back and look at the graph to see where is this c. Look at it closely, guys. There's c right there as the turning point of the graph. And we were told that c lies on the other asymptote of the graph of f. So if you look there, the graph of g passes through the origin. We understand that part. However, we are told here that c, this point c, which is the turning point, lies on the horizontal asymptote. So that simply means the point C has the same y coordinate as the horizontal asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote is the line y is equal to 4. So which means the y value at C is simply equal to 4. However, what is the x value there at C? If you think back, we were told that BC is parallel to the y axis. What does that mean? Whenever you say a particular line is parallel to the y-axis, it means its x value is not changing. So the x at all the points of that line are the same. So the x value at B will be the same as the x value at C, because the x value is not changing since that line is parallel to the y-axis. And that is the at that we are going to engage in this particular instance to answer the question. So our k value came out as 2 from the previous question. So it means C also has, it means any point on this line will just simply have a value of 2. Its x value will always be 2. So at C, the x value is simply going to be 2. So those are the coordinates of the point C.